ladies and gents. This is Ruth Delgado and Ruth Delgado's Glamour page. I'm back with another video today. And this time I know if you guys already seen the first video that I uploaded, y'all probably like, she didn't do that accountability Sundays like she mentioned. Yeah, because I just decided to just ad lib with a couple of stories while I was doing my hair. And since it didn't take me very long, now I'm going to go ahead and do the accountability Sunday or Wednesday like it is today or Friday might be when I upload or whatever day. Just this is a video about taking accountability. Okay. So this is something that I've already learned myself that I've already decided. Ouch. <laughs> that I've already decided that I am going to do myself and I've already started practicing it now I'm going to break down um, definition of accountability which is the fact or condition of being accountable or responsible okay that's the definition of accountability now What I learned being about being accountable in my own experience myself is I realized that when you make a decision to be accountable for your actions, accountable for your deeds, accountable for everything that you do, first of all, that's one of the first signs to show that you're growing up. First and foremost, let's keep it real. Like Responsibility is one of the first signs that you know okay i'm learning how to be an adult and stop blaming everybody else for my issues for my circumstances for my problems and start realizing that wait a minute um i'm responsible for everything that happens and everything that goes on in my life from now on because i'm an adult now now when i wasn't an adult when i was in a, a, a child then yeah it was okay for me to blame everybody blame blame the blame the world or whatever even though <laughs> honestly you can't blame the world then either because the world still don't want to hear it even though yes yeah, somebody is responsible for you because you're still a kid but regardless people still don't want to hear it even when you're a child so you know they don't want to hear it when you're grown that's what i've come to understand like people don't want to hear it so that was like one of the first and foremost things that I recognized about growth and maturity is accountability. Making sure that you're not sitting here being like most of these other people out here in the world that is super grown, right? Old as crap and blame the world for their problems and their issues instead of recognizing that, wait a minute, I have something to do with this too wait a minute i can't keep sitting here acting like oh I, I have no control over my own life because i can have control over my own life if i actually take the reins and stop sitting there complaining just saying because like a lot of times that's what people problems be they be that they do more complaining than they do actually figuring out what they need to do to fix their problems and issues instead of just complaining constantly complaining constantly gets you gets you nowhere because you don't never fix anything when you complain but when you decide to start fixing your problems instead of complaining about it, i'm sorry y'all my hair <laughs> keep getting in my eyes and i'm trying to get it out of my eyes that's why I keep doing that. But anyway, that's the only thing about wearing um, a bang for me. It's cute on me, but it makes my hair stay getting in my eyes, especially when I have the fan on me like I do right now because it's hot. So I need the fan on me. But the fan is making the hair fly all in my eyes. But anyway, 
Okay, so one way that you can be more personally accountable is to know your role. You'll need to understand your responsibility to be accountable for them. So know what you're supposed to be doing, what you need to be doing, what you got to be doing, what you feel in your spirit that you're supposed to be doing. Know that because that's how you can actually maintain being accountable because first you have to know what you're supposed to be doing so you can do it and make sure that it's done. So um, you'll understand your responsibilities and be more accountable and make sure that you are actually matching what you say that you want to do, what you say that you want to be, because there's a lot of that going on out here. It's a lot of people claiming to be one way, but then their actions are not aligning up with what they're claiming. Like, claiming to be in love, but then there's limits to how much they'll do to show that person that they truly are in love with them and that they're going to give them a life that nobody else is going to be able to because nobody's going to love them more or better. See, people don't understand that if you're not willing to change completely for a person, then you cannot truly be in love with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of people that I guess think that otherwise is the case and it's not I don't know how I got to be talking about being in love but anyway if you are accountable you know what you're being accountable for so be mindful of what your role is what your goal is so that you can make sure you hold yourself to it be honest and set pride aside so one reason why I do know that a lot of people have a problem with being accountable is because a lot of people are not honest about who they are to themselves and they also not honest about who they are to other people they just not honest and um, if you are honest and set your pride aside then and and also know what your goals are with what you're supposed to be doing then you put yourself in a better space a better headspace and a, a better space to actually be accountable for what you do um say sorry or apologize when wrong oh that's a biggie <laughs> because there's a lot of people that i don't know why i don't know why but it's a lot of people that for some reason have a huge problem with apologizing especially when they know that they're wrong I've heard people say yeah I know I'm wrong but I'm still not apologizing why why when you already know that you are in fact wrong will you not take responsibility and say I apologize I'm sorry when you know you're wrong now, I can, I guess, kind of get if a person don't know they wrong, okay. I guess, because I take that with a grain of salt because I feel like, yeah, every man has a conscience. So, how do you not know that you're wrong? But, there's neither here nor there. I'm not judging nobody, but whatever. Just make sure that you don't get too high and mighty that you can't apologize when you know that you did something that wasn't so cool. You know what I'm saying? We all know when we did some shit. Excuse my mouth, but we all know. Come on, let's keep it real. Now let's carry on. Alright, um... Use your time wisely. And that's not to say you can't have fun, okay? Let me make this clear to y'all. Because I know a lot of times people in life try to make us feel like you can't have fun listen use your time wisely but you can still have a good time okay now having fun all the time is not going to always get you paid unless you really enjoy your job and i would advise you to do something that makes you feel like you do enjoy your job but 
regardless of all of that, use your time wisely. But no, if you're enjoying yourself, you're still using your time wisely. Don't think that, oh, I got to be working 24-7 to be using my time wisely. You don't. You can use your time wisely and have specific work hours, darling. Actually, that's even better because when you have specific work hours, then you know that you have time to rest your mind and recuperate. Don't overcommit. I, I feel like these two kind of go hand in hand. Using your time wisely and don't overcommit. So, um,. You got some people, you got some things, you got some responsibilities that sometimes we as people tend to do just that, overcommit to the people in our lives, to the responsibilities that we have, to whatever. And you have to get to the point where you realize that, okay, I got to stop overly giving myself to people that's not giving me the same in return or as not being as compatible we got to stop overly giving too much of ourselves to people who cannot give that much to us do y'all know what I mean I hope y'all do since y'all can't talk back to me right now <laughs> but I hope y'all know what I mean because that's very important and last um reflect I've called this basically checking yourself examining yourself like thinking not just about what you see other people doing and how you see other people respond to things but also checking out what you see yourself doing checking out how you respond to things because a lot of times we turn a very blind eye <laughs> to our own bullcrap like seriously and i see so many people do it like everybody does this everybody everybody that has not made a conscious decision to literally um acknowledge their own bullcrap does this where they'll acknowledge everybody else's but when they when they own stink they don't smell it and I guess this is because, like, you know, when you're you're in your home and your place needs to be cleaned up or whatever or freshened up, and you might not smell it because you're in your home, but somebody from the outside come in and be like, hey, and then the smell hit them, and then you be, like, feeling offended, but then you got to think about it like they just walked in here, you've been in here all day. Same sense. If you reflect on yourself, reflect on your thoughts, your habits, and things of that sort, then a lot of times that actually helps you to be more responsible because it helps you to be more mindful of what you're doing and what you might cause by doing that. Because a lot of times we don't recognize or pay attention to the fact that we may cause some trauma and drama and craziness in certain things and certain people that we don't even recognize because we given ourselves an excuse to be you know toxic and kind of poisonous like not cool a great example of accountability is when you are focused on achieving your goals and task if you're able to limit distraction and pressure you're successful and achieving your goals efficiently. Moreover, when your team sees this, you're setting a goal and example for them. So, um, if you're working with other people or just working around other people, because, I mean, you could just be around people and they just be considered a part of your team because they're around you. You set that example for those that you are around when you're accountable and when you focus on achieving your goals and the tasks at hand, you become an inspiration to those around you. And actually, that's exactly what I feel like I've been doing 
you know, like with everybody in my life, I feel like I see me rubbing off on everybody. <laughs> it's so crazy. Like, I really feel like that. Like, I don't have that many friends, but the few friends that I do have when they say certain things to me or they behave in certain manners in certain ways, I be thinking to myself, like, that's so me. And then sometimes, like, if, if like, for instance, my boyfriend Ty, um, he'll do something and remind me of myself. And I'll actually say to him, I'll be like, did that feel familiar to you? <laughs> and he'll be like, what you talking about? And I'll be like, did you notice anybody familiar doing that same thing that you just did? And then he'll think about it and, and start laughing. And I'm like, that's why I'm doing the best that I can to make sure that I'm around the right kind of people for me. Because we do not recognize how much we rub off on each other. Like, we do not recognize how much we reflect each other's behavior when we just, just from being around one another. And especially certain people that have like strong personalities. Like me, that's why I know that I rub off so easily on people. Because I'm so, I have like a very strong personality. And I know that. So because of that, I feel like that's one of the major reasons why I seem to rub off so easily onto other people because my 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 personality is lit. <laughs> Even though I don't come outside much, when I do come out, baby. <laughs> or be on camera as y'all see that I am right now. Sitting here at night by myself. My boyfriend's at work. So yeah, working as usual. <laughs> And yeah, so accountability is important. It eliminates the time and effort you spend on distracting activities and other unproductive behavior. When you make people accountable for their actions, you're effectively teaching them to value their work. When done right, accountability can increase your team member skills and confidence. So basically, if you are accountable, you're going to make sure that you're not making a bunch of mistakes. Or if you are making a bunch of mistakes, you make sure that you cover yourself. You make sure that you fix it. That you don't give yourself an excuse to make those mistakes again. Like a lot of people like to do. I see that way too often. You know, and it's sad because it's like these people are grown. So you already know if they didn't figure it out yet already, I'm not going to say they're probably never going to, but we, 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 we could just hope and pray for the best. That's all I'm going to say. Because you want to hope and pray for the best. You don't want to talk any negativity on anybody. You, you, you want the best for everybody. I want the best for everybody. And I pray that everybody that's a part of this tribe wants the best for everybody. Because that's the type of tribe that I like to see. You know, people that want to see each other thrive. People that want to see each other win. People that want to be, you know, um... An inspiration to others because that's what I want to be you know what I'm saying that's one of the reasons why I decided to do this channel because I'm like you know I want to be the person that I kind of wish oh y'all I just broke my nail I want to be the kind of person that I kind of wish that I knew when I was younger you know I kind of want to be the inspiration that I wish that I could have came across when I was trying to maintain my composure and um do the best at being me as opposed to feeling like I wasn't good enough because everybody around me was trying to make me feel like I wasn't and I in turn started to internalize that very feeling and it wasn't good and I learned my lesson from that because I started to realize that man you didn't have low self-esteem from the beginning from the beginning you actually did have good self-esteem 
you ended up having lower self-esteem because you ended up around people that instilled all these negative outlooks and these negative insights in your head and made you start looking at things that way. And you didn't even realize it until later that that's what was going on. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, mm, you live and you learn. That's so true. Like, you really do. You live and you learn. So, um, you know, just making sure you check up after yourself, making sure you, you, you know, you go over what you've done and make sure you, um, you put as much effort as you need to put into what you do and don't have a nothing, if y'all know what I mean, um, that definitely teaches you to value what you're doing and teach other people to value it too because if you know how much you put into your work then you know that um your stuff is valuable so you need to have people pay what it's worth not what they want you know but yeah, sometimes good to just, you know, make people feel a part of the pricing uh, process, I guess you can call it. I, I've, I've come to realize it's, it's not a bad idea to make people feel like they're a part of that. Even though you still go and charge them the same thing that you was originally going to charge them anyway. But you make them feel a part of the process, you know, just make them feel like, oh, okay, well, I do have some type of say, kind of. <laughs> anyway, um, something that I went through that really taught me to be accountable was actually my one of my first stories that I've already told you guys about when I first got arrested. That's one of the first times that I really seriously like had a new outlook on accountability because even though my arrest was not fair, I still can say that without a doubt. My arrest definitely was not fair reason why I can honestly say that without a doubt and never change that is because I was literally, I still got the mark today. Y'all see this? I still got the mark today to show I was injured. Like literally that was split open. I had to get stitches. That was split wide open. That was split wide open. So I truly feel as though I should not have, if I was going to get arrested I should have not been the only one that was arrested I feel like if anything she should have gotten arrested right with me I feel like that would have been more of a fair trade now mind you if anything she should have been the only one arrested because I was the only one injured she had no injuries she had like a little teeny tiny cut on her hand right here and I didn't do that because um, the weapons that I did have never touched her. They got embedded in the top of a box when we was, you know, tasseling on the floor. So even though I know that, I still realize where I had to take accountability. Even though I know that my arrest was not um, fair, at the same time, I did have to pay attention to the, 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 look at the entire picture and pay attention to the fact that, okay, even though the situation in and of itself wasn't fair, at the same time, you definitely could have dealt with things a lot better and could have thought things out a lot better so that you didn't land yourself in a situation where you ended up with a record. That's where my accountability comes in. 
because it's like you can't blame other people for your circumstances and your situation you just can't you're grown now so now your responsibility you're you're responsible for your behavior you're responsible for where you end up so realizing that i say you know what like even though i know rightfully so i should not have been arrested alone if i was going to be arrested she should have at least got arrested with me but at the same time i definitely could have made better decisions so that things could have went more smoothly in my way as opposed to the way that they went not my way so that's a prime example of a story where i clearly was like you know what i'm gonna take accountability even though i feel like i was done dirty by the system i still am going to take accountability and understand that if I would have made better decisions, then the system wouldn't have been able to have me all caught up. I, accountability. I had to, you know, get that in my head. Like, sis, if you would have done things a lot more strategical and less um, emotional, then you may have put yourself in a lot better situation where she would have been the only one to get arrested and not you so that's where i had to come in and say okay this is what you could have done differently i could have made better decisions i could have moved differently i could have just moved right on up out of her way and found another place immediately i could have done that but I knew how hard of a time I was having trying to find a place. So that's why I chose to just go with the first thing that I, you know, was trying to get as opposed to just keep looking. But you live and you learn. And so I learned my lesson. And the reason why I felt the need to bring this video to you guys' attention, to my tribe's attention, it's like, I, like I've already mentioned, like I've noticed in this world how there's so many people that just blame everybody else except for themselves for their problems and their issues. And it's like, hold up, wait a minute. Now, do I know that it's, it's a lot of people that have a lot of complications that do put them in a more of a losing circle than a winning one? Yes, I do know that. That is true. But what I also know is that there are decisions, there are things that we do, things that we say, sometimes situations we put ourselves in that if we were accountable, then we would start to recognize and realize our own behavior and see like, oh, I did that to myself. Let me learn how to fix this. Let me learn how to actually change this around to the point where this works in my favor instead of against me, you know? And so that's why I decided to bring this video about accountability, you know, to my audience, because I feel like, you know, we need to really start to recognize our own behavior. We need to get out of pointing the finger so much at everybody else that we see. Look at you, look at you, look at you. And we need to start looking at ourselves, looking in the mirror at ourselves physically spiritually and emotionally looking in the mirror at ourselves and actually seeing ourselves for what we really see not seeing ourselves for what we want to see but really seeing ourselves for what what we really are and what we really see and being responsible for that and really saying to ourselves is this what i want to be is this what i want to be known as if it's not what do i need to do to change it and I feel like accountability is where you start because you start to recognize your own toxic behaviors and when you start to recognize them, then you can start to change them. And then when you start to change them, then you start to grow and you start to mature into an even better individual than you already have been in the past. And, and what better gift than that to give yourself of maturity and, and growth and 
really knowing that you did this for yourself. So, guys, I hope y'all got something from this video. Because I definitely, you know, I got some research done. I really, like, structured it. I wrote things down this time because I... I ain't gonna lie, yo. I was a little embarrassed about the couple of a, a few of the last videos that I posted because they were a little all over the place because I didn't have everything written down because I was trying to like play it by ear because I got tired of constantly reading and seeing myself just reading all the time and not really having eye contact. And I pride myself in making sure that I have eye contact with people when I'm actually talking to people. So being as though I'm actually talking to you guys through the camera I want to do the best that I can to keep really good eye contact so that's why you know I got to the point where I was like okay I'm gonna chill off the writing it down and just try to play it by ear and I was all over the place like a ping pong <laughs> so that's why I was like okay you know what let me gear up let me gear this up let me you know fix the blueprint and, 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 and just put the blueprint out there so I got the blueprint written down for y'all this time and I followed that and I wasn't too much all over the place like I have been and I apologize for those videos they're gonna get better like this one has gotten better where um, I'll be able to actually uh, hear all in my mouth I'll actually be able to write the blueprint of what I want to talk about down and then just carry on and ad lib on the rest so guys thank you guys for watching me I love y'all so much um if you are already a part of the troop tribe thank you guys I love you and if you aren't what you waiting for press the button please goddamn button push the card it's free it don't even cost a penny. It's free. You can press it. Go ahead. You need some help? I'll help you. <laughs> All right, y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And become a part of this amazing Truth Tribe. We stand for the truth. That's why you rock with Ruth. I love y'all, and I will see y'all next time.